Six new national commissioners have been sworn in to fill existing vacancies in the Independent National Electoral Commission, INEC. President Muhammad Buhari performed the ceremony before presiding over the weekly meeting of the Federal Executive Council. State House correspondent Adam Osamboyegian reports. The new INEC National Commissioners comprise two returning for a second term in office and four newly appointed, all of them nominated by President Muhammad Buhari and confirmed to be of unquestionable integrity by the Senate after a thorough screening exercise. The returnees are Mohamed Kudu Haruna from Niger State and Meg Abamuche Mbu from Delta State. Those appointed for the first time are Ukwebu, Kenneth Namdi from Abia, retired Major General Abubakar Modibolk Ali, Adamawa, Professor Roda Habo Gumus Bayelsa, and Sam Olubadego Olumekung on the state. Congratulations. President Muhammad Buhari did not make any further comment at the swearing in ceremony witnessed by Senate President Ahmed Lawan, Speaker Femiwa Jabia Mila, as well as the Chairman of the Senate and House Committees on INEC. The new national commissioners are, however, not unmindful of the high expectations of Nigerians and therefore promised to live above board in the discharge of their responsibilities. We feel honored that we've been nominated as national commissioners and we'll make sure that, uh, you know, meet the public expectations and the expectations of the president for a free, fair and credible election. We want to assure Nigerians that uh, we will deliver on a uh, very, very clean election come 2023. We will key in to the the mission and vision of INEC, and you just saw us taking an oath. So that oath guides us to ensure that Nigerians get the best in INEC. The yearning and aspiration of Nigeria will be fulfilled. Inshallah. For INEC Chairman Professor Mahmoud Yakubu, the swearing in of the new national commissioners was a good day for the commission. It's coming three days to um, by elections in four states of the federation, and as we plan for the HT and Oshun governorship elections, and then as we continue to prepare for the 2023 general elections, we will go on firing on all cylinders. Uh, now that we have the full complement of commissioners, and Nigerians should expect the best out of the commission. Founded in 1998 and backed by the 1999 constitution as amended, INEC has a mission to serve as independent and effective electoral management body committed to the conduct of free, fair, transparent and credible elections. This is to sustain Nigeria's democracy and indeed the desired democratic culture. From the State House, Adamu Sambu, NTA News. Meanwhile, with the Bible and Quran in their hands, the new INEC national commissioners have sworn to the oath of allegiance that was in the presidential villa. Mayor Ogidi was at the INEC headquarters and reports that the reception was quite extraordinary because one of the national commissioners has broken a jinx within the INEC workforce. The coaster bus cruised in from the presidential villa to the INEC headquarters. The atmosphere quite welcoming. Door opened. The chairman of INEC emerged. A cheering crowd waiting. I know who you are waiting. It's Ken and not me. The INEC chair told his staff. But who is Ken? I will tell you later. Not a day of long speeches, but orgs and selfies. Six national commissioners, two returning, four new, and a resident electoral commissioner sworn in by the INEC chair. He is Olanye, deployed to Ogun State as resident electoral commissioner. As I welcome the new commissioners, I urge you to deploy your vast knowledge and diverse experiences to the service of the country as unbiased referees. <laughs> Outside the conference hall, there is an encouraging story to tell. That is the story of Ken I earlier promised to tell you. Kenneth Innamdi Okwegu was posted to INEC in 1987 as NYC member, lucky to be retained after service, grew to become a director of procurement INEC headquarters Abuja, and today is sworn in as INEC National Commissioner. First INEC staff, both serving and retired, to be appointed as National Commissioner. You know, we have about close to 70,000 staff in INEC. I'm, I'm, the, I'm carrying the burden of those 17,000. 
If I don't succeed, it's a failure of 17,000 people. It's not just about me. And I will never fail. Hugs and prayers from excited staff to their senior colleague because the jinx broke them. A ray of hope, the chances of them also attaining such height in the career getting brighter. So I'm very happy and I thank Mr. President for this wonderful appointment. And I also want to say that uh, the appointment is a motivation to our next staff. And um, we hope in subsequent appointments, Mr. President will consider uh, our next staff with vast experience who are also versatile in the electoral process to fill in gaps. Ken is keen on making them proud as he bids farewell to his former office in a rather emotion-laden mien. But he goes higher, so it's a good news for all. Mien Ogede, NT News.